the suburban match the vert on some twin shit. Yeah. Easy money when I rages on my paint job. Yeah. From the rooter to the tutor, all my whips hard. Yeah. Hit the block and show my ass, I feel like Big Roy. Oh, nah. <laughs> Uh, this ain't a don't, this a vert, get your facts right Took this bitch off the frame, yeah, it costs a little cheddar, but I'm papered up I just parked a nigga mortgage in my driveway I can barely hit the gas and it gets sideways The suburban match the vert on some twin shit Easy money when I rages on my paint job From the rooter to the tutor, all my whips hard Hit the block and show my ass, I feel like Big Rod Gold roaches on my caddy bump, it's sugar free Gold 30s on my Hummer, big like Shaq feet Gold roaches on my vet, had them hoes wet I get bored and get the splurge and I don't try to flex <laughs> Left the money, Carlos stock for the fuck up the fuck Redid up. the cutty, but don't drive it cause I'm sick of I'm sick Built up. my wife at El Camino, her shit running too Ooh. That 76 Camaro running out of shit to do nah. The first nigga in my city to propose on the wagon I'm a Detroit nigga, I can't help it <laughs> That 96 and pile of pressure, I had bought it just because I ain't had shit to do, I guess I'm extra <laughs> I get plenty money, bae, I feel like plies now Plies, Fuck man. around and make me mad, I break the rim <laughs> Fuck around and make me mad, I get up in my bag I pull a nigga car, got me feeling like Big Rod. YouTube, what it do? Big Rod Chevy coming to you with another video. Another video. So, uh, we finna head, man, to go pick up. I'm gonna jump right on off into the, into the content for the day, man. We finna get ready to go ahead and pick up uh, uh, El Chapo, a.k.a. The Hell Camino, a.k.a. The Wife Bill. Finna go ahead and go pick it up, man. We're gonna take it down and uh, get some, uh, it needs some to get the wheels on in the back, it's got to be uh, some work done to the rear end of it. So, uh, my buddy, my buddy uh, Damon from uh, DWT Wheels and Tires, he gonna uh, take care of that man for me. I'm gonna just get it down to where it's spot. I think his trailer is out of commission right now, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't cop mine and uh, finna go down there and uh, pick it up and carry it down there. Look like we might get a little water today. That's what it's, that's what it's looking like. Weather looking pretty, pretty cloudy, pretty nasty. But uh, we're in the Silverado right now, so uh, when I get back, man, I'll put this trailer up, and then I'll probably just I'm gonna grab the covered, the covered hauler, the covered trailer, man. I'm gonna go grab the, uh, I'm gonna go grab the uh, can am. So just in case they do decide to sprinkle a little bit on us, man, we'll be prepared for it. So that's what we at for today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, man, please like, share, subscribe, man. Click notification bell, man. Uh, I'm excited about this weekend, y'all. Huh? Like I say, it's 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 really finna. They got some. They got some, they got a lot of new people supposed to be coming. Got a lot of different car clubs supposed to be coming out. Uh, I got a lot of uh, feedback on that uh, on that last post I put out, man. <laughs> it was it was uh, it was kind of funny, but you know, I said what I said. I stand on it. You know, it is what it is. Um, you know, when you got, I'm a business owner myself. I don't talk about stuff I don't know. So be careful who you put in the, as the face of your company. You know, be careful who you put answering your phones to your company. Because, you know, to say it, to say it um, in a better way, somebody could be willing to spend a bag with you. You know what I'm saying? And that person can really decide a, be the deciding factor they're gonna spend it with you or not you know that little situation that that, that that i went through you know that lady threw away a lot of money i got a lot of folks that's wanting to come that's coming to this show uh family and friends and they got rvs they got travel trailers they they wanted they wanted a service done and the little information she gave me all i did was pass it right back along <laughs> so you know if somebody was to tell you something like that you tell me what was you you feel good leaving your you know leaving your 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 automobile or your your uh your property in somebody's hands like that anytime somebody tell you hey just don't depend on us at all <laughs> i was like still tickled because she said it she and she said it and i had to say excuse me she said yes yes sir just don't depend on us at all i'm like so should i call back and make another appointment she was like probably not i'm like okay i get it you know all right so it is what it is. Uh, so, anyway, uh, moving on to big and better things. I'm excited, man. Uh, the next phase, man. Like I said, you see the build. Y'all see the bills, man. The Camaro coming along good. 
uh, got minor work to do to it, then it should, it'll be on to the next phase. You know, um, had a couple people ask me, man, especially about the builds. You know what I'm saying? They was like, well, you know, why does this take long? And why does this, hey, it is what it is. That's all I can tell you. I don't want to get into it going no further than that. I'll tell you this. Uh, that work that's done to that Camaro, that Camaro, I said it, you know, maybe once or twice, but uh, that is not an average uh, four-link suspension on that car. You can't just purchase those. You know what I'm saying? Those four-link suspensions have to be, you know, handmade. And uh, that's a unibody car. I mean, that car is all one, one piece. Ain't no brakes and stops, and it's all one piece. So if you cut that car the wrong way, or you, you, uh, you uh, try to, you know, you you in your process of trying to build that four link and cut that cut that car the wrong way, it won't go back together the right way. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, you know, leave it to the professionals. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about the guys who actually do it. Leave it to the professionals. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like the time frame it that it take, uh, I understand. You know what I'm saying? What my advice would be to you, either learn how to do it yourself or take it somebody who can do it a little faster, you know, but just make sure you research the work that's being done. You know, would you really want somebody cutting your car apart and putting it all the way back together in a week? You know, but, you know, to each day on, some people feel like, you know, how they feel. And I, I'm not here to preach to you and try to make you feel no different. You know, it's a lot of people got a lot of... uh got a lot of advice about stuff they don't know you know what's going on you don't even know what you're doing so you know that's like you telling me about how to buy a car and you ride a bike and you don't have a car how that work just a question you know what i'm saying things just got to make sense in my life you know you're trying to tell me how to ride a motorcycle when you don't have one and you don't ride one or you don't know how to ride one you know but you got great advice for me. Okay. All right. So, with that being said, man, we're getting ready for the weekend. Uh, so I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I'm rejuvenated. Like I said, the trip did me good. Uh, I well need a rest, man. I got a lot of rest on the trip, man. It was great. It was super, super great. Uh, so, man, like I said, we're getting, getting back to the bills. Talked to the LS man yesterday. Uh, had a little small hiccup with the uh, LS bill, man. Uh, but like I say, by the time he told me about it, it was fixed. So I suppose you can't call it a hiccup or nothing. Uh, so far, the LS, uh, my LS process, bill process, uh, I cannot complain about it. Everything that people was telling me, man, about the LS builds is, I'm, I'm probably, it's, it's nothing like that for me. I can't count for everybody else. Uh, but now I will tell you this. I've done a lot of things different uh, on my LS build. And this is, you know, per the mechanic. He told me off the rip. Like, first of all, I didn't bring him nothing used. Everything I bought was brand new. Brand new. I'm talking about from factory brand new. Brand new 6.0. Brand new transmission. Um, let's see, what else? Everything. Brand new. Every, uh I asked what what setup should I go with. He was like the, the Terminator, uh, the Terminator, Terminator X Max. I, I, I got it. Everything we went down the list. Everything that I was supposed to get, I got it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this might be the stuff that he works better with. He he tunes better with. Whatever the case, I got it. I didn't want this process to be long or drawn out, and it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? The only thing we waited for was little little bitty intricate parts that I needed. Like, you know what I'm saying? That I wanted. You know, like I, I didn't I got a I got a whole exhaust at the house that I ordered. That's because that's what I wanted. I went I went boiler exhaust. You know, that's cause what I wanted. You know, I got an X pipe. That's cause what I wanted. You you don't have to go that route. You ain't got to be extra with it or nothing like that. I seen this set up on a donk and I thought it was absolutely amazing. So I asked dude, he said, man, this is what I did. This is what I got. This is who I got it from. Uh, my mechanic was like, yeah, bro, that'll be three inches all the way. It'll, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to sound amazing. Bet that's what I got. You might not want it that way. You know what I'm saying? You know, but like I say, man, that's, that's, that's how I went. 
It's a, it's much cheaper builds uh, out there, LS wise. You just gotta, you know. I, again, I say I build my cars for me. If you happen to like them, great. If you happen to not like them, great. I'm just, they, you know, I don't lose no sleep either way. You know what I'm saying? When I go to car shows, if I win a trophy, great. If I don't, great. At the end of the day, the biggest trophy is the whip. I get to come home with it. So I'm, I'm, I'm grateful either way. I didn't build my car for a trophy. I built it for me. <laughs> I'm the one that's supposed to like it. So, you know, um, just keep that in mind, man, when y'all doing your bills, man. You know, you got to keep your minds open. Um, I do have a, a, a little alert, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the Big Rod Chevy channel possibly could be bringing another uh, another vehicle to the channel. Y'all do know it's getting close to, to August, man, which is Big Rod Chevy's birthday month. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm one of them type. I'm going up all month. All month. Yeah, you get that. When you get up in them numbers like me, them numbers count for something, bro. I'm going up all month. And then you know that. But, uh, uh, ran up on a, a little deal. Like I say, it's going to be something, something, uh, you know, I like to ride stuff that you don't see people ride. That's just me. I like to have stuff that you don't see people have. Uh, got a couple of interests out there, a little fillers out there here and there, but, you know, y'all just stay tuned for that, man. Like I say, it could, it could be, uh, possible another another whip coming to the channel you know what i'm saying you know another another build shall i say so uh y'all just stay tuned for that man but uh we finna get ready to pick up el chapo el chapo and get ready to uh get it on up there so we can get this work done to it man so y'all stay tuned all right so we up here right now man and to get rid of scrap her down. Like they say, get her done. And uh just for just for a, a future reference, man. Y'all know I got a I got a dually just like this one man. I got the same setup. My wheels are gone. I don't have the wheels, the rims, but I got six six tires and i got the adapters for this truck man i got it all for sale man the tire is pretty good man let me take y'all in here real quick but y'all seen the tires pretty good they good year i don't a lot of folks was asking me uh do i know what year and all i don't know all that man i'm just keeping it 100 with you man i don't be in the dualies like that if i'm finna jump in something like that i'm trying to do it like this you feel me that's that's the that's the look I'm going for, for real, for real. But, you know. There she go, coming out there. Coming on out the stall. That's it. Let me uh, show y'all what we got. They go to adapters and everything. They was on, I bought them brand new. You know what I'm saying? You can count the holes on them. Yep, I bought them brand new. Uh, they, I bought them brand new for my truck. I think I gave like $1,100 for them down here. But uh, here go the tires and stuff over here for, for them dudes. Y'all can see the tread in them. All six of them got good tread all the way down. Very good tread. They are 235, 80, R22 and a halves. And they all Michigan. So that's where we at with it, man. If y'all know somebody, man, y'all get at me. Jump in the uh, yeah, uh, jump in the comments, man. Let me know. Y'all see that thing, boy?
Let's do it. So we finna go ahead and get this thing loaded up, man. Strapped down. We finna get ready here and get it dropped off. Y'all stay tuned. All right, we scrapped out right now. Like I said, man, we finna get ready to head. Y'all can see some of the, the details, man. The headlights and everything. I went and got the new grill. I'm gonna end up. They make a billet for this thing, though, man. I don't know if they make a, a, a TR grill, but I'm gonna check and see. Like I said, all, this car was all there. The, every, everything y'all seeing, and like I said, it was all there, man. I ain't had to buy no fillers or nothing. The bumper's in good shape. Ain't no dings, no dents in them. They can be clean, polished. This car was a good, it was a good buy. It was a good buy. The whole car, there. like I say, surface. You know what I'm saying? Surface rough. I'm going to have it sand it all the way back down. Have it sanded. I don't know if, it, if they, on, on, the, on the gate, the gate in pretty good shape. But like I said, we're going to just sand the car all the way back down to the metal, man. Take it all the way back down. I'll probably have it uh, sandblast it all the way back down. Take all the trimming and stuff off, man, and let them folk paint it. I already got the new seals, the weather seal. This car was actually, man, it was able to get some, uh, the parts and stuff was not difficult to find at all. It was not difficult to find. Y'all see, man, I'm say, y'all remember, y'all remember this build? All new brake lines, all new suspension. She gonna look good. I think the white gonna be pretty happy with it, man. I think she gonna be ecstatic about that motor, though. As y'all see up there in the, in the sky, boy, look, we got some. It look like we got some water coming, but then if you look further on back that way, man, past that sign, don't look like it. Look like it's gonna probably just clear on up. But. We gonna see what we, we gonna see what it's gonna do, but yeah, y'all stay tuned, man. Finna get, finna get El Chapo dropped off. This thing clean. When I get through with it, y'all gonna be like, whoa, whoa. Just wait, y'all stay tuned. Well, Facebook, I mean, YouTube, y'all know where I'm at, man. Y'all have made this road with me a few times. We're at the Can Am dealership. Let's hope they got this shit right for this time. Let's hope. Dude, they told me last time I came. He said, whatever it is, it can't be nothing too big. It's got to be something minor. minor is to him but we shall see again I say to all of my my southerners I tell you man it ain't nothing like having your own truck and your own trailer me myself I got multiple trailers multiple trucks but it ain't nothing like having your own shit. When I need to go, I go. I gotta clean my trailer out. I still got some stuff in here from, from the last time. So, yep, gotta clean my trailer and stuff out. But uh, finna go in here and get ready to Pick my can am up, get it on back. We'll see how that work out. Stay tuned. So far, so good. So far, so good. But you know, we done been here before, right? We've been here before. So, uh, I'm trying to let it run a little bit. Make sure I don't try to run hot or nothing like that on me. Let's see. Let's go for a ride. Let's ride on down here to the trailer.
we got to we got to load it up my peeps we got to load it up so we'll probably try to ride it man one way this week one day this weekend if i can i'll probably try to strike out on it on sunday And what I probably try to do is crack out on it on Sunday. All depends on what the weather is. If it's astronomically hot, I'll be in some with some AC. But let's just hope they got this thing straight this time. I'm tired of the kids had to come up this trip. Like I say, there ain't no hop, skip, and a jump. They'll grip from me. On the second Avenue, Coleman, Alabama. At the Talon Sports Center. Don't get me wrong, they do good work. They service Hondas and everything. It's kind of like the old folks say, they do good work when they do good work. But, I'm gonna get ready to head on back. See what else we got in the oven today. Stay tuned. All right. So, like I say, man, y'all know Big Roger, one man show. Go ahead, baby, get in on this side. So, I got the uh, trailers moved about. Actually, got a uh, got a little two for one special. Should be trying to hit tomorrow for me, man. I got a guy that's gonna come out to the. Uh, to the property man he gonna uh, clean the uh clean the rv and he gonna clean the dually so they gonna be and they attached to each other so he gonna come on out to the house and do that man so that's gonna kind of that's gonna set me right where i need to be at so show y'all the game plan uh let me plug up my phone but yeah so that's gonna be the that's gonna be the game plan. How we gonna make that thing work? Turn it down, back. Turn it down. Yeah, when you get in here, you gotta get everything squared away. So, so show y'all how the game plan work. So. It wasn't too bad today. It wasn't really, really hot today, but it was it was still warm. You know. But uh tomorrow, like I said, I got we gotta, you know, we in the final seconds. I dropped off Mr. Freeze today. Mr. Freeze dropped off to get cleaned up. Uh Granddaddy Caddy, the only thing ain't been uh cleaned up. So uh probably um I'll probably end up driving it tomorrow, possibly. I'll probably drive Granddaddy Caddy tomorrow with me. I got to go run to the city. I got to get braided up. And on my way back, I'll swap them out. Because like my appointment early, early in the morning. So they still had time to jump to it. If not, I got to, I know a spot I can take it and get it cleaned up. And then Granddaddy Caddy be straight. And uh, Mr. Freezer be straight. So all oh, that's 100. But, you know. I just want to, I'm just going to give you just a, you know, uh, uh, in line look, man. And what I tell you when I can say, you, when you blessed with a whole lot of stuff, man, you still got responsibilities to it. You got to keep this stuff up. You got to keep it clean. You know, uh, normally I am the one who cleans my, uh, my travel trailer, man. You know what I'm saying? I pot, I'll wash it and get it cleaned up. But just being honest with y'all, man, I ain't had time. I just been tied up. Know, getting all this stuff done, checking on all the builds, making sure everybody moving, you know. We got motion everywhere, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me show y'all what we got going on real quick. Baby, you stay right here. I'm gonna leave the air on for you, okay? Thank you. Alright, we'll stay right here. Y'all hold tight for a minute. Let me see. No, I got a guy coming tomorrow gonna clean it up. He gonna clean up the dually and the uh the RV all in one walk. So right there. Yeah, so so y'all see how bad my my baby beat up, man. She, yeah, she in there. 
and she all grimy, dirty. Like I gotta say she'll work for us. And you know what I'm saying? Baby nasty. You know what I'm saying? She got bird poop. I'm gonna say she nasty, man. She ain't been cleaned up. She ain't been I ain't got a chance to do nothing this year. Look at all that grind up top. She don't normally look like this, you know, so I got nice wheels on my thing. They normally don't look like that. They clean. You kind of can see all the grime and stuff on them. Just from the age, man, sitting out there. Uh, like I say, it's going to all get cleaned up tomorrow, man. You see all that, man. It's terrible, bro. Terrible. But, you know, this comes with it, man. And my man go climb, going to get everything cleaned up on it. So, yeah. So we can look like we presentable, you know what I'm saying? That tie right there might need some air in it right there, look man. Bring the compressor over here and get him aired up. But you see what I'm talking about. And like I say in the back. Got my, my other my trailers there with both, man. My other trailer back down that trailer you know big dog so i'm gonna end up building me a pole barn in the back right there and bring it all the way up so i can cover my trailers man and get uh keep my stuff cleaned up man oh i didn't get a chance to show y'all uh on the uh on the car hauler, man, how they fixed me up, man. Them dudes was the truth. I don't think I, I just took, I, yeah, I just went on down there. He had called me while I was already out in motion. I ain't have a chance to go grab the camera, man. But I just wanted to show y'all the great job these folks did, bro. They did an awesome job. Look at this, man. Took this off. Put me a new neck on there. Uh, got the little slap thing on there now. Now I'm legit. She, she 100. Then they put me another one of these on there. You know what I'm saying? Welded it on for me. So now I got my foot thing back. Ooh, happy, happy. So yeah, I'm I'm excited about that. They got my trailer back. You know what I'm saying? So but yeah, eventually, man, uh, I'm gonna end up I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up having my guys come back around, man. We're gonna cut some more of this shit here back. Get this shit off my property, man. I don't know, at this point. You know what I'm saying? I don't really give a fuck who shit this belong to, man. You gotta get this shit up on my property, for real. If it belong to me, great. If it don't, I still don't give a fuck. I'm finna cut this shit back. All these trees and shit. Man, cut all this shit back, man. I'm finna cut, clear all this shit back. All the way back. I don't know who this shit belong to. It's on my property here, so it's mine. I'm finna goddamn, if you mad about it, goddamn, sue me. Shit, I'm about to cut this shit back. So I can put me a pole barn up. My man pole barn come straight on up and cover all the way over to my, my property so I can keep my trailers and shit squared away. Food truck and everything. Waiting on my generator to come in. It's already ordered. I already ordered a generator for it, but you know what I'm saying? There's certain It's a certain kind of generator that I want it for this. Because uh, when you got a food truck of this size, man, of this magnitude, you don't want to be out there and you ain't got enough power you know what i'm saying y'all see we did get, put the uh, automatic jack on it yeah we put the automatic jack on it so that's that's a 100 but yeah so it's a certain type of generator i wanted from a man it's made by honda it's real quiet you know what i'm saying it ran me a nice little penny though you know what i'm saying i ain't even gonna hold you up on that one i could have damn damn that bought a small mercedes for what i paid for that little generator but uh you know, small investments like that, man, make they make that money back to you, man, over a period of time. Uh, like I say, everything paid for, so ain't no sweat on my back, man. So, uh, on that end, man, that's pretty much what we got going uh, tomorrow. After he get through cleaning up, uh, cleaning up the uh, the RV, I'm gonna take it. Uh, I said I'll air the tire up and everything. I got the generator. I'll take my air the tire up. And then uh, we're going to take and dump the tanks. Get old two for one special, man. Get old two for one. So, 
that's pretty much man what we got going on so i gotta say man y'all stay tuned i'm gonna holler back at y'all man i'm finna kick it with my baby girl man and uh get some stuff squared away uh spend some daddy daughter time kick it with my baby so man i'll holler back at y'all tomorrow uh tomorrow's friday we got a whole lot of meet and greets we're gonna be out tomorrow we're hanging out like wet draws tomorrow man i'm gonna take y'all we got a couple of meet and greets to go to man for the the pre the pre uh the pre the pre excitement for the uh, before we get to the june festival which is saturday so man y'all just stay tuned until then man big rod chevy is checking